What's up, guys? Dustin New here, back with the Toronto Maple Leafs GM mode. Uh, we are into the re-sign, and uh, I've already done that, so I'll just show you guys really fast what happened here. Um, I let go of a few players, but no, no, nobody worth noting, really. Um, so, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. we didn't have to sign any of these guys. We didn't have any big guys to sign. Uh, Nylander I signed to a six-year, $4.2 million a year deal, so he's all locked up. Uh, Reichel, I think I only he was a, he wanted a four year, so I got rid of I got rid of that out of the way. Um, <clears throat> T.J. Brennan, a little bit expensive, but that's okay. Uh, three years for him. Uh, we pretty much have our team locked up. Uh, Janssen needs another year still before he resigns. Uh, I got Ashton for another uh, two three no three years yeah. Um, Moss I signed, but he's he only wanted a one year anyway, so that worked out just fine. And that's pretty much it. I let go of uh, Colin Fraser. Uh, we're going to keep David Moss, like I said, for now. Or no, so Colin Fraser. What am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about. I was going to say Fraser McLaren. <laughs> I'm not re-signing Fraser McLaren. He's gone. Uh, whoops. Colin Fraser. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. All right. And then uh, re-sign goalies. So next year, uh, Leonard and McCollum will be up to re-sign. Uh, Kondrytov still has two more years left in his contract. Whitney, um, I just offered him, um, I just tendered him an offer. So, yeah, this guy, whatever, and then Hunt, he's got two years left, so not a big deal. Okay, so, uh, yeah, pretty much done the resign already. <clears throat> Get into the free agency here. Sorry, I feel like I'm getting a sore throat, so. Hmm. I was going to leave it available so we could possibly sign like a fourth, a third, fourth liner if we needed to, but I figured we might as well lock up Moss and GM rep has dropped. Okay, why did it drop though? Easy decision, okay, yeah. So it dropped because I tendered an offer to some. <laughs> That's stupid. That's damn stupid or ridiculous, I tell you. Ahem. <clears throat> FYI, updated our... No, I don't want you to update my block, you dick. God! I never said anywhere I wanted you to update my trading block, asshole. <laughs> there we go, get rid of that. Uh, first, Curtis Lazar, Paul Bittner. Um, so, leave that for now. Leave that like that. They're still moved to move like a JVR or something. I, I just wanted to see how they... Um, how they do over the off season? Because like Leonard got better, obviously, but and Condrito for sure will get better over the off season. So let's see what's in the free agency. I don't think there's a whole lot going on. Maybe we'll probably go for more like rookies, if anything. <clears throat> uh, Nick Benino don't need, don't need a defenseman. Umberger, nope. Uh, Hoodler, he's listed as a right wing. I thought he was a centerman. It's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure he's a centerman. Pretty positive he's a centerman. If we didn't have anybody, he'd actually be a pretty decent pickup. I was hoping the Red Wings are going to pick up Hoodler at the at the trade deadline. They got Legwand, which is still a good pickup, but I was really hoping that Hoodler would go back um, because not only is Calgary trying to off offload some assets, but um, Hoodler's already played in Detroit, so he knows a lot of the players. That's why I, I personally thought that it would be Hoodler going back to Detroit, but yeah, they got Legwand. Legwand is from Detroit, though, so... I don't know if that really, if that really makes a difference, but um, I don't really see anybody worth signing unless there's a goalie, but Ben Bishop, yeah, it's too bad that he doesn't get better, like he should be like a almost high 80, it's really a shame, it's really a shame, Joachim Erickson, okay, alright, let's look at some of these, oh, a bunch of, uh, Four or three and a half star players or goalies here. Uh, so there's a 19 three and a half star. There's Jack Flynn. Mm. <clears throat> we do have room to make uh, a signing here too. Brandon Hope is still there. I'm surprised no one signed him. It's kind of surprising. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll sign uh, the 19 year old Zach Bowman. Was he ever drafted? No, he's not drafted. Oh yeah, he was. Never mind. First round, 19 by the Winnipeg Jets in 2015. <clears throat> He's not bad, though. Um, 
Yeah, you never know. Give them a couple years, see what happens. Other teams interested. Oh, wow, there's a couple teams interested. Okay. He's a two-way contract. Doesn't matter. I was giving point seven five. Up him 100000 Just throwing a little bit extra. He'll take it. He'll take it. Um, all skaters. Okay. Whoa. Wow, there's nobody. There's no, like, rookies here. Hmm. Seriously, there's nothing. It's that 22-year-old, but... Oh, that's, a, that's too bad, really. <clears throat> you know what? I might just take a look at our depth in terms of uh, AHL players for um, mixing and matching with our uh, other guys, our younger guys. Um. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess I'll go like this. Okay, those guys, those guys, those guys. Last guy should be Moss. Okay, so Fraser, AHL, McClement will be AHL. Kenny Ryan's AHL. He's almost ready to go, too. Uh, Holzer, AHL. Murphy, AHL. Honka's an AHL. Ben, Brad Ross, I almost called him Ben. Uh, Levy, Granberg, Sprong. Got a lot of young guys. Jeez. I, I really want to get this Hansel guy in the AHL. Hopefully he's good to go. I, I kind of want to put him on the first line. Maybe with Daniel Sprong. And uh, maybe maybe put him with Kenny Ryan. That'd probably work for a good good year there. We also have Sutter, Lazar. Hmm. I don't really know if we need any AHL guys, honestly. We have a lot of players. A lot of players. Bittner, Mills. <clears throat> yeah, this will be like a good season to get a lot of the younger guys in. Yeah, we're going to go like that. And then obviously we have uh, freaking Kondratev in there. Kondratev. Unless he's, unless like I said, unless he gets better and he's like an 80-something, then we'll put Whitney in, I guess. We're trying to sign that other goalie too, so. Uh, yeah, not all. And there's not really a whole lot of players. Oh, yeah, there we go. So this guy signed. Not a whole lot of players available to sign anyways, you know. Zach Bowman. Oh, borderline. Yeah, okay, bud. <laughs> Alright, so there's the re-sign part. Uh, there wasn't really any notable free agents to get. So, uh, yeah, we're going to sim up to the 13th, and I will see you guys there. Alright, welcome back for your fifth year. As the GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Made some interesting choices in the, uh, 43 wins, okay. Uh, so, 43 wins. Wow, we came off a Stanley Cup, a Stanley Cup winning season. They want 43 wins, you know. It's very disappointing. All right, uh, GM options. Let's do scouting right away. Uh, scouting assignment. I got some deadly Harper right now. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of burping a lot. Um, OHL. WHL. Yeah, let's go here. You're gonna... There we go. Kelly and Shrimp. <clears throat> Over there six weeks. And... Alright, let's go there. Check out our progression, see what happened pretty excited to see what happened honestly okay Ooh, red wings are shopping around nicholas cronwell nice i'm into it let's look at progress reports all right progress reports so darren helm has gone down 13 stats that's haven't even started the season yet mcclement has gone down 13 as well haven't even started the season moss he's gone down a couple but he hasn't really lost that much palmieri He's an 82, though, so that's good, but he's gone down a couple stats. Uh, Carter Ashton is up to an 84 to start the year. That's good. CC did not get better, which is a little bit surprising for me. Uh, Gardner's still 88. Gormley's an 86 again. He'll probably jump up again in the season, though, because that's what happened last year. Uh, Gunnarsson's still an 83. Uh, Peter Holland's an 82 now. Janssen is still an 82. Caudry is now an 87. Ooh, he's classed as a first-line forward, too. Wow, his last year of getting better, he got up to an 87. That's not bad. Kessel's still an 89. Nine liter is only an 86, really. <clears throat> he went from... I think it's his skating, man. Honestly. I think it's his skating. Look at his skating. It's not that good. He is really not that good skater, but he's got a sick, sick shot. 
Maybe this maybe this will be his year. I mean, he's he's only 21. You know, there's room for improvement on skating. Uh, Ryland started Riley uh, Ryland Riley starting off as an 87. He finished off as an 88 last year, so that's kind of disappointing. Kenny Ryan's a 79, um, so if we need him. Uh, Kirby Reichel's still an 84. Shifley's an 88. JVR's still an 86. Okay, so that's uh, a little bit disappointing. Let's look at our goalies here. So Leonard is, oh wow, Leonard's got a bunch of pluses already, so that's good. That's actually really good. And he's up to an 86. McCollum's an 83. Now let's look at our AHL. So Kondrydov just isn't quite ready yet. He's a 79 currently, so that's not a big deal. Zach Bowman got two, uh, two overall better, actually. He was a 51 when I signed him. Uh, so Kondrydov will play the full season in the AHL again. You know, I don't want to rush him. This is the last year of um, Leonard's contract as well, so... Um, yeah, there's always room to move him. I won't be able to move him at the draft because you can't extend contracts. But um, yeah, I could probably move him in the off season if we need to. You know, if we need to. It says he's an elite goalie too, so um, I think that should bump up his uh, trade value a bit. Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's look at the other AHL players here. So, uh, Weidman's a 63. Levy got up. Oh, he was a 73 last at the end of the, or into the offseason. He was a 73, so he's 76 now. Murphy was a 76. He's a 77. Uh, still that. Um, I don't know if this guy did anything. Ben, Barb, Ben. <laughs> I keep calling him Ben. I think he stayed the same. Uh, Granberg, I believe, was about a 75. <clears throat> uh, what else do we got here? Hansel got up one, so that's not bad. Uh, Dylan Strom, I, can't, I was really hoping that he would improve a bit more, but maybe maybe this year he will. Daniel Sprong was a 71, he's a 73, so I think that'll be a good first line. Hansel, Sprong, and possibly um, Kenny Ryan. Uh, Lazar, Harlock didn't get any better. Mills, nope. Bittner didn't do much. Shit eating Bittner. Yep, Honka got up to a 78, so that's good. He's almost ready to go. Um, he's another righty for us, too. That'll be good. Because we have a lot of left defensemen, so... And he's another offensive defenseman threat, which is good. Lekkanen didn't really do much. So, <clears throat> we had some progression, which is good. Definitely good. Uh, let's just get our lines together here. Uh, there was a couple guys that should be up here. Or... Maybe not, actually. Clement should be down. Uh, Kenny Ryan should be down. Fraser should be down. And that should be good. Uh, goalies, Leonard McCollum. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, so that should be solid. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll bring up... Um, I'll bring up Kondrytov just for the preseason. We'll, we'll just get him in every game of the preseason. Because they don't count, right? They just count towards progression, so... Uh, yeah, we'll put him in every every preseason game. He doesn't. It's not going to make a big difference for him. So, all right. So the lines. It says it should be Nylander, Shifley, Kessel, and then JVR, Kadri, and Reichel. I believe I'm going to keep it like that. Um, I I, th I had Reichel over here. I don't know if that'll make a difference. Um, fourth line is what it needs to be. I can't believe Ashton got up to an 84. That's actually solid, too. That's pretty good. Uh, Janssen, Holland, and Ashton. I'm pretty sure I had Janssen center because Holland's not a very good center. Man. He's only got 60 faceoffs. Janssen is a lot better at faceoffs. Well, not a lot. 67. But his defense is disgusting. Andreas Janssen is so good defensively. Uh, Ashton's not very good either at faceoffs. So, whatever. We'll put Janssen back center there. Um, Ashton, like, I think he had a pretty good season last year. Didn't he get, like, 30 points? Oh, never mind. I thought he had more points. He only had 18, but that's okay. All right, defense. Gardner, Riley, Gormley, CC, Brennan, and Gunnarsson. Yep, pretty much. Kessel, Nylander. Uh, yeah, put Nylander on the offhand. Gormley, yeah, Gormley's got better offense. JVR, Caudry, Reichel. That works. Shifley, Kessel. Caudry, Nylander, yeah, Gormley, Riley, yeah. Okay, penalty count, I'm going to keep the same because um, Reichel, Helm, Shifley. Uh, do I want Shifley on there? 
Helm's still dirty defensively. He's a dirty defensively player. <laughs> uh, Janssen's obviously the sickest on our team, probably. Uh, wow, Reichel's actually pretty good, too. Whoa, Reichel's got like 83 face-offs. Holy crap. <clears throat> Jeez. He is a monster. Um, I think, I would assume Shifley's got good defense. I don't know. Eh, it's okay. I feel like we might have better defensive players on our team. Uh, we have our two third liners. What about, like, a JBR? What is his defense like? Yeah, it's okay. Um, Reichel we have on there. We have Janssen. We have... Uh, hold on. I'm missing. That's who I'm missing. Ashton. Is Ashton good defensively? I think he is. Yeah, he's not bad. Let's put Ashton on the, uh... With Reichel. We'll put Reichel at center because he's got good face-offs. Um, I don't like that they're backwards. That should be like that. Because they're on their off hands right now. You want to be able to have them on their forehands. Uh, you know, I'm fine with that stuff. Whatever. Okay, shootout. Nylander, Shifley, Kessel. Let's put Shifley first. Caudry and then uh, Reichel. Goalie wise, we'll put uh, Kondrydov and then we'll sit and call him. So Kondrydov will get the starts. There we go. Alright, let's so get into the. I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's get into the preseason. I'll do the uh, AHL lines after, just so I don't waste time doing them. Um. I usually do it in between videos because I like to really look at what I want for progressing rookies. Um, and that just takes time, looking at all the players and everything, so. Um, I think we're going to have another good year, honestly. So we, we still got uh, Gardner, Kessel, Riley. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Andreas Janssen. Oh, that's not good, because Nylander is supposed to be 88, too, I think. He's an 86, eh? Uh, yeah, whatever. He played a whole year as 86. That's fine. Whew, yeah, this heartburn is murdering me right now. Holy moly. My god. Alright, come on game, let's go. Let's go. Igor Kondrytiv. I'm actually excited for him to get in the lineup soon. It's going to be pretty sweet. Alright, so let's play with Kondrytiv in the net see how he does. I think we're going to have a lot of offense again. Especially with Ashton being an 84 now on that third line. That's dirt. So, oh, 7-3. Take that, Tampa. <laughs> there we go. I, I, yeah, I'm really hoping Nylander, Shifley, and Kessel really just tear it up this year. Oh, okay. Bad loss. That's all right. Da 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 da. -da. Two one. Wow. Come on, guys. What are we doing? We have our full lineup, and we're losing to rookies. Oh no. Maybe Condrite is just not ready yet. Da, 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 da. This is just for experience, though. So if we win, we win. If we don't, we don't. Shifley's doing good. He's got seven assists in four games. He might even have a goal or two. Like, I don't even know. JBR's a plus three. What are we doing? How are we losing to these teams? Oh, my God. Come on. There we go. Kadri's got four Gs. Yowzes. Woohoo! Alright, so there is room to move a JVR this year. Um, maybe get like another sniper for the right wing. I'm not entirely positive what I want to do just yet. There we go, big win. Okay. You know what, let's just take a quick peek at that. We're at 20 minutes, so I'll just try and do it really fast. So, um, <coughs> oh, sorry. We also have Ashton who could come up re realistically. He could be a, a, a second liner right now. Um, yeah, like he's got pretty good offense. He wouldn't, his poise is 70, so it's not the best, but you know, a poise doesn't really improve at this point, so you can't, I'm pretty sure J, JVR, yeah, like he's only a 75 poise. Um, Ashton might actually, I wish you could do side-by-side -side stat analysis, that'd be great. Yeah, like, they're pretty much pretty close. You know, so 
Um, yeah, like if I had Ashton or Reichel, I mean, they're left and right wing, so. Uh, we could look at getting, <coughs> oh, sorry. Or we could even get another right wing sniper to put on that line. Um, let's just take a quick peek and see what his uh, trade value would be like. I still gotta send down uh, Chondrite as well. Let's just throw him on there and see what he looks like. Uh, so yeah, JVR still got pretty good, uh, pretty good trade value. Um, I don't know. Obviously, there's a bunch of teams that would touch him, but um, let's just see. I'll just throw. Why is this changed again? You f ah, stupid game. Punch it in the face. And by that, I mean I'd probably punch my TV. <laughs> it would break. <laughs> stupid. Get off of here. God. Okay, so uh, if we went with a forward, let's say, let's just try second liner. Um, we want like a 35 sniper. I wish you could, uh, yeah, I wish you could really search. Actually, I guess I could search by search, search. Uh, overall, no acceleration, aggressiveness, agility. Uh, let's just look for shot. Passing, poise, puck control. Uh, let's do rish. Wrist shot accuracy, I guess. I'll just put it up there. We'll put it at like 85. 85 to 99. We'll see if that gives us a realistic thing of players. Alright, so there's that. Uh, I, want, I want a fairly young player too, I think. Yeah, like there's Nyland, that makes sense. Uh, JVR is there. Really? JVR is there? <laughs> oh, I guess he's, yeah, he's above 85. Uh, is there any younger guys, though? Gagne. Eh. Uh, Vander Kane. We could get a Vander Kane, honestly. That's realistic. Um, he's pretty much the exact same value as JVR, too. He's still 26. He's four and a half stars. We could reunite him with Shifley. Obviously, they wouldn't be on the same line, but... Um, yeah, that's, that's doable, I guess. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, 25. Who's this guy? Ryan Johansson. He's a, he's a playmaker. Zaban Jad's two way. Uh, Schwartz, no. Uh, I want like a good sniper. I think I should have made it younger. We we've already tried Tarasenko. He didn't really. Yeah, he was already on our team actually. We didn't. He didn't fit at all. He just didn't do anything for us. It was kind of disappointing actually. Uh, Bieg said Clifford Nyquist uh, Atkinson. I still kind of want a guy who could potentially get better, like a young, a younger guy, maybe. There's Reichel. Uh, Kreider. Reichel's a stud, man. Seriously. If you guys don't pick up... Oh, that's Chris Kreider. If you guys don't pick up Kry or, uh, Reichel in your in your GM modes, you've made a giant mistake. He, I've never even really heard of him, but holy crap, is he good. He is solid. Uh, Johansson, playmaker. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Or there, like I said, there's the option of getting a third line uh, score. You know, we could do that. Oh, there's Reinhardt. Um, because the like they'd probably be a, a lot younger. Yeah, there's like Blake Clark, 83 overall. His value is still like terrible. Jeez, why is his value so low? Oh, wow, nine points. He's on. Uh, that's funny that Nashville got him again after I drafted him last uh, GM mode. Uh, Hurdle. I kind of, yeah, I kind of want a right wing, and that's Shaw, Cassian, uh, who's this guy, Bo Bennett, Bo Bennett, Earn, Adam Earn, he is a two-way forward, though, I'd rather get a sniper out of it, Fro Leak, I don't know, let me know what you guys think about, um, oh, cancel, I'm just gonna delete that part, let me know what you guys think about, uh, maybe if I move JVR, who to kind of go for, I know, I, I kind of just quickly peeked through there, but, uh, yeah, like I said, I will do the AHL lines in between. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It's very appreciated. And, as always, thanks for watching, guys.